All right, good morning, mediums. This is Scott Moon uh, for Keystroke Medium. I'm uh, up here getting some bulletproof coffee uh, after doing an hour of awesome breakthrough writing on my work in project, work in progress. And I was just really wanting, I've been wanting to do a book review for book cracking. Um, recently, I finished The Passage by Justin Cronin, I believe is the author. It was recommended to me by a friend of mine. Um, who's also a writer, and I immediately took to it. I downloaded it without even looking at the premise or anything like that. Stop and take a look at our our little fort we built yesterday. Me and the kids had some good times. So anyway, I, I jumped into the passage without knowing anything about it, and immediately was swept away by the power of the writing. So you're thinking this is another Scott Moon Loves Everything book review, uh, but there are some criticisms I do have of the story and the writing style, more the structure than anything, and so we'll talk about that a little bit today. Um, you know, I'm definitely one of those, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it, especially online because it lives forever. So we'll talk about the good and the bad of The Passage by Justin Cronin. So... Let's see, to make my, my review a little bit more useful, I did pull up some basic information because I didn't take notes. I just read it or listened to it for enjoyment. So The Passage is a novel that was written in, let's see, uh, published in 2010 by Ballantine Books. The author is Justin Cronin. The first thing about it is it's very interesting if you look at the cover. The cover does not tell you anything about what that this book is about. If you looked at this book by the cover, you would not think... You would not land in the correct genre. So, whoever made that decision, I mean, it's a beautiful cover. I really like looking at the cover, but it's not, say, you know, post-apocalyptic um, vampire. So, maybe that's too much of a spoiler, I don't know. But, you know, you should not be like Scott. You should, you should know a little bit <laughs> about what you're reading. So, the story begins, and the characters are mega powerful. There's a really cool kind of near-future alternate reality feel to it, with the way the author sets up the story. Um, it's a little bit um, kind of dark and real. Well, one, what turns out to be one of the main characters is a young girl, and it goes through, it starts basically where her mother is, how she comes to be in really hard times. And then there's a, a special agent Walgas, see now I'm remembering, I'm not even looking at the at the notes, um, is in charge of finding all these death row inmates for some type of grand dark military experiment, which, you know, true to a lot of different tropes, we're looking to, uh, you know, a scientist wants to do a good thing, but it's gonna go horribly wrong and we can all see what's happening. So, like I said, the first part of the book, I'm like, this guy is at least as good as Stephen King. I mean, he's writing a gripping story. The characters are just, I mean, it swept me away. I couldn't stop listening to it. And then it comes to kind of a turning point, and everything changes extremely abruptly. And there's a huge leap in time, which should work because I like, it's almost like it's two different genres. I like the first part of the story and the way it was written. And I like the second part, or actually the there's kind of like three or four parts to the whole book. It's it's it seemed kind of long, um, and I liked them individually. But the transition from one to the other just punched me in the face. I was like, everybody I was getting attached to is dead. Well, maybe maybe not. Who knows? Whatever. There's they still have a part in the story. It's complicated, and even if I wanted to give you a spoiler, it would be hard for me to do. Um, but. So, basically, I was very invested in the characters and what was going to happen to them. Um, I, I've said enough. It's hard for me to really describe how much I like the first part of the book. But then I had to start completely from scratch. I knew zero about the world. had to redefine all the, all the rules of the world, you know, like... Um, why people do the things they do, how they're surviving, their society, the structure of their society is completely different. Uh, some of the transitional pieces are journal type entries that are, are done very brilliantly. You can tell that Justin Cronin is an extremely talented writer, 
um, and some of his prose is just beautiful and powerful. But the decision to just jump that far into the future and start from z we know zero about the world completely all basically had to engage in a whole new um, journey of world building before he could even care about the characters. So that was that was a bucket of ice water in the face. And since I'm somebody who you know I have a really hard time not finishing a book even if it just completely sucks. Um, no, I just kept on pushing through, and I came back around and really liked it now. So I'd say the, the first section, I'm not sure if it's even the first quarter, is brilliant. There's another section in the middle, which I think is, you know, pretty vanilla. And, um, you know, it takes a leap of faith to keep pushing through it. And then there's a very good, strong last, you know, maybe half or, or third of the book where now you're back into the characters, this this world's becoming intriguing, there's lots of danger, there's lots of questions, and, and whatnot. The ending was good, the ending um, answered most everything you needed to know to make it feel like a good standalone experience, but also uh, presented several um, questions or possibilities might be more accurate for the characters that I would be intrigued to know more about. This is a book in a series. I have lots of other things to read. I have some books by authors I know and have followed and read, you know, a large portion of their works and I want to get back to those series. I have um, other books that I want to do. I have my own writing and so for me at this point I'm not going to go on to the next book because I, it's a time investment. Everything's a time investment. I'm a slow reader when I read in print or on my ebook. and of course I, the audiobooks are, they come in the speed they come. You can do like speed up the audiobooks, but I never do that because I think it sounds silly. Um, so I do want to read the rest of the series. I am very intrigued about where these characters go. All in all, um, I would recommend The Passage. It's a good book. I would give a warning that um, you know, reading the, reading the book jacket and knowing what it's about would probably be a good idea before jumping into it because I went in completely blind, which is part of the reason I thought the first part of it was so amazingly awesome, but it was also part of the reason, you know, I got punched out <laughs> when the first door was crossed in the story plot. So anyway, this is Scott Moon for Book Cracking for Keystroke Medium. I'm going to throw this up there on the web page and the YouTube channel, and I hope that uh, you enjoy it. Please Go over to uh, on our YouTube channel and like and subscribe this, like and subscribe to our channel, like this video, make me feel good and whatever, and uh, um, we'll go on to the next thing. So what am I reading now? Well, right now I'm reading uh, Lines of Departure by Marco Clues. It's another excellent book, different, it's in first person, but we'll talk about that on another review. All right, take care, have fun, be safe.